All right, 618 is the time. You're taking a live look from our Malibu camera. You can see the marine layer out there to start your day. It'll mix out nicely this afternoon, but in the meantime, some of you are seeing limited visibility because of it, and we're going to talk about that. 67 downtown right now, 65 in Corona, 63 in Camarillo. Oxnard is where we have the patchy, dense fog again this morning. The Ventura County coast seeing limited visibility. Downtown, uh, you're fine. Orange County's fine. The Inland Empire's fine. We do have an onshore wind bringing in that marine layer this morning. Winds will be nice and calm throughout much of the day, just picking up tonight as the sun goes down. Satellite and radar quiet to start your day. However, I did add the chance for thunderstorms in the higher elevations back into your forecast this afternoon because Futurecast, you can see here, wants to bring in some of that monsoonal moisture. So the main threat uh, will be brief heavy rain and lightning over the mountains and the deserts this afternoon, drying out into the next few days as high pressure slowly shifting off to the east and this area of low pressure to our north is moving in and breaking down this ridge. This is what's bringing us a few degrees of cooling each day that you're mostly uh, going to be noticing if you live in the inland areas. So this afternoon, 70s along the coast, 80s for the basin, which is right where we should be uh, for this time of year, mostly in the 90s for the valleys in the Inland Empire. What you'll notice, not as many triple digits on the board today as we take a look at that extended forecast. Tomorrow, uh, the beaches in the basin, you're pretty much on cruise control the next few days. The temperatures aren't going to be moving too much. Valleys, you are going to notice a nice cooling trend, though, into the next few days. Same with the Inland Empire, uh, the high desert in the mountains. Your weekend looks great. We'll start off with temperatures near average, and then it does look like we're going to turn up the heat Sunday and into the start of the work week on Monday.